can stop by and get a free gun lock. City Council Member Anna Albee released this video this week announcing the new library program. She says one of the most important things the city can do is to get the word out better and more communication around secure firearms arm storage, really focusing on adults and what it means to be a responsible gun owner and making sure that we get gun locks out into the community. Babies, children should not have to worry about being safe. Council member Scotty Johnson agrees, adding that Cincinnati has passed several gun ordinances, including one that requires safe storage of firearms, specifically making them inaccessible to children. It's been in effect since last February. Is there a way to be more aggressive with the city's prosecution of these cases? I think right now we're doing everything that we can. And it appears the city is. The solicitor has now filed 10 cases under the safe storage ordinance. Six are awaiting prosecution. Instances like a gun left under a pillow with a toddler in the bed or leaving a loaded gun in a living room. But it's not telling people that they have to store a fire. Several of the cases are awaiting a court of appeals decision heard just last week that is determining whether the city's ordinances conflict with state law. Oh, this should never happen. A child should never have access to a firearm. Hamilton County Prosecutor Melissa Powers says in this latest toddler with a gun case, the gun was stolen. She says legal gun owners need to keep their guns more secure. And then this case was a stolen firearm. So we're talking again, where is the responsible gun ownership? How did that firearm get into onto the streets so that somebody could obtain this thing? Gun advocate Dean Reek with the Buckeye Firearms Association says he supports two bills that are before the legislature that would eliminate sales tax from gun safes and give tax breaks for people who buy safes or take gun safety classes. We support these because unlike most bills that are uh, introduced to try to punish gun owners, these really give gun owners an incentive to be safe with their firearms and get training. Yeah, by the way, both of those bills are in committee right now waiting testimony. Incidentally, in reference to these gun locks, there is a limited supply right now, so make sure that you call ahead of time to your library to make sure that they have them in stock, give them a chance to get more in stock. While all this is going on, we all hold our collective breath, just hoping that another toddler doesn't get his or her hands on another firearm. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and click the links for more content like this.